So a group of researchers, including some from ByteDance, just dropped a new model called Dream Omni 2. This beast is designed for what they call multimodal instruction-based editing and generation. In normal people speak, that means you can feed it a text prompt and multiple reference images to pull off some incredibly complex edits, additions, and style transfers. And here's the kicker. Their big claim is that Dream Omni 2 doesn't just compete with the big boys, it beats all of them, including Nano Banana, GPT-4, Flux Context, and other commercial models. That's a crazy bold claim, so let's check out the evidence. Over on their project page, they've posted some direct comparisons, and honestly, they are pretty wild. Look at this first one. On the left are input images, a woman in a black dress standing, and another woman in a mid-air jump. The prompt is make the person from the first image have the same pose as the person from the second image. So the AI needs to take the first woman and put her in that exact jumping pose. Now, look at the result from Dream Omni 2. In my opinion, this is a flawless victory. It's the same woman, same dress, mid-jump, looking totally natural. But now look at the competition. Flux Context just spit out the second image. Didn't even try. QN Image Edit kind of tried, but she's not jumping. She's just doing a weird leg spread thing while standing. GPT-4 looks like she's thinking about jumping, but the pose is completely wrong. And then we get to Nano Banana's result, and it is a certified train wreck. It gave the woman a third leg. She's just standing there with an extra leg and an extra arm. It's a complete mess. According to this, only Dream Omni 2 actually understood what was being asked. Let's look at another one. Here we have a woman with black hair and a reference pic of a woman with a blonde hairstyle. The prompt is, make the person in the first image have the same hairstyle as the person in the second image. And again, Dream Omni 2 seems to have absolutely nailed it. Perfect hairstyle and color swap, the generation is spot on. But the others? Flux Context, once again, just gave back the reference image. Q and Edit made this bizarre black and blonde hybrid mess. GPT-4 completely changed the woman's face, and the hairstyle isn't even the right one. The other model just kept the hair black. Total failure. So based on these cherry-picked examples, the hype seems legit. So how true are these claims? First, I'm going to walk you through some more of their best examples from the project page. After that, I'm putting this model to the test myself with my own images in a real-world scenario. We're going to see if this thing is really as impressive as they claim, or if it's all just smoke and mirrors. So stick around, because we're about to find out if this thing is a goat or just another gimmick. All right, first up, let's look at some object replacement. Here's a lantern with text over it, and the second image is a dog. The prompt is, replace the lantern in the first image with the dog in the second image. And boom, it seamlessly slots the dog right in. The text is still perfectly placed in front, the background is untouched, that is clean. Here's another one, a man in a poster and a photo of a woman holding a coffee cup. The prompt is to replace the man with the woman. And the final image shows the woman in the exact same style, but the coffee cup is gone. The background and text are preserved. That's some smart, context-aware editing right there. It can also handle clothes. Check this, a man in a suit and a reference image of a brown jacket. The prompt says to replace the suit with the jacket. And bam, it puts the jacket on him perfectly right over his shirt. His face is completely unchanged. But what about more abstract stuff like lighting? Here's a cat and a reference image with some dramatic purple and blue lighting. The prompt asks to apply the lighting to the cat photo. And the result is fantastic. The cat is now bathed in that same moody glow. It does the same thing here with this woman's portrait, taking this dark side-lit reference and applying it perfectly to her face. Next up, style transfer. We've got a photorealistic image of some chickens and a reference image of a pixelated crow. The AI converts the chickens into a pixel art style, and it does it beautifully. Looks like it came straight out of Stardew Valley. Or how about this beach photo? The reference style is a colored pencil drawing, and you can see the final result has been completely transformed. It even works for turning real people into anime characters. Here's a photo of a woman, an anime reference, and the result is the same woman, same dress, but perfectly redrawn as an anime character. The model is also a beast at pose imitation. Here's a girl in a black dress sitting, and the reference is a boy leaning against a pole. The prompt is for the girl to adopt that same pose. 
And look at this. It's the exact same girl, no change to her face, now leaning against the pole with her hands in her pockets. Flawless. It even works with more complex poses, like taking this guy with his arms crossed and putting him in the pose of an anime girl with her hands on her face. It can even handle something as subtle as facial expressions. Look, here's a guy and a picture of a baby crying. The prompt asks for the guy to be seen crying like the baby. And the result is the same guy, same clothes, but with a totally convincing crying face. <laughs> it's hilarious, but technically impressive. I will note, though, that text on his shirt vanished, so it's not always 100% perfect. Hairstyle changes? No problem. A girl with one hairstyle and a black woman with a very distinct, different hairstyle. The result shows the first girl with that hairstyle from the second. It's a really solid generation. They also showcase font imitation. Here, the word December is in a simple font. The reference is this bloody, dripping writing style. And look, December is now written in that same creepy, dripping style. Pattern swapping is another killer feature. We have a handbag and a reference pattern of little cars. After the prompt, the handbag is now covered in that exact pattern. Or check this out, a sports car and a computer mouse with a fireworks design on it. In the final image, the car is now wrapped in that same awesome fireworks pattern. It also does background replacement really well, placing these sunglasses in a new environment and even adding a realistic reflection on the surface below. And get this, it's not just two images, it can handle three reference images. Here we have a parrot, a cap, and a rocket just for its visual style. The final result is the parrot wearing the cap rendered in the style of the rocket. That's insane! And look at this one. We have a girl, a guy, and a simple line drawing of two figures fighting. The prompt is, on a fighting stage, two people are engaged in combat. Their movements are shown in figure three. And it works. It creates an image of that same guy and girl fighting in the exact poses from the doodle. That is next level stuff. It even supports four reference generation. Look at this. A boy, a girl, a Bitcoin logo, and a cap. The final image shows the boy and girl standing together. He's wearing that exact cap, and on the cap is the Bitcoin logo. It flawlessly combined all four inputs. Okay, the curated examples look absolutely god tier. But now it's time for the real test. Let's see if this thing holds up when we throw our own stuff at it. I went to their GitHub page, and they have links to the code, the models, and a Hugging Face Space demo. So let's jump in. All right, here we are in the Hugging Face Space. Simple interface. For my first test, I'm uploading a female model I use, and for the second image, this energy drink can with my channel logo AI Quest on it. My prompt is, woman in the first image is having a drink from the second image. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's the result. That's the same woman, and she's holding the exact can from the second image right up to her mouth. The AI Quest logo is perfectly clear. Now, it's not perfect. She's smiling with her teeth showing, which is weird for someone about to drink, but still very impressive. All right, next, same model, but the reference is a very specific hairstyle. The prompt is, make the person in the first image have the same hairstyle as the person in the second image. And, okay, and this one is a total failure. It barely changed her hair, and it's definitely not the reference hairstyle. And weirder, it added a bunch of random tattoos on her arm that I never asked for. So yeah, that's a swing and a miss. Let's try changing her dress. This is our model, and this is a picture of undergarments. Replace the dress in the first image with the clothes in the second image, and the result is... Meh, it's similar, but not the same. The flowers are way bigger and the design is different. And again, look, more random tattoos. Okay, let's try style transfer. I've given it my model's image and an anime style reference. The prompt is make the first image have the same image style as the second image. And this is a huge success. It converted the photo into a perfect anime style. The result is clean, it looks great. Next up, lighting. I've got a picture of Elon Musk and a reference image with that classic blue and red split lighting. Prompt is make the first image have the same light condition as the second image. And look at that, it's perfect. Same picture of Elon, but the lighting is completely changed to match the reference. There's a little weird white artifact on his jacket, but otherwise fantastic generation. Now let's try a pattern change. Here's a girl in a dress and a separate pattern image. The prompt is make the dress in the first image have the same pattern as the second image. And this result is excellent. The pattern on her dress is a near-perfect match. This is a very good generation. 
Okay, for the final test, let's get weird with it. Here's my model, and here's an image of Elon Musk. The prompt is, woman in image one and the man in image two are kissing. Let's see what it does. And eh, the result is okay. The woman looks right, but the man doesn't really look like Elon. Let me try swapping the images and changing the prompt to woman from image two and man in image one are standing together. And look at that, a perfect result. Both of them look exactly like the source images. So now let's try the kissing prompt again with this new image order. And there we go. This result is much, much better. That's clearly Elon Musk, and the model looks very similar to my reference. This is a very good and very complex generation. So after all that, what's the final word? This model is incredibly decent, but it's not the flawless god-tier generator their curated examples suggest. It has some weird bugs like the random tattoos, and it definitely struggles with some tasks. But for many others, it performs exceptionally well, creating some truly amazing results. So what's the magic behind this? The researchers used a clever system to handle multiple images and complex instructions. The paper mentions something called index encoding to help the model know which image is image 1 and which is image 2, preventing confusion. Plus, they did joint training with a powerful vision language model, or VLM, which is what gives it the ability to understand really complex prompts, like the one with the fighting doodle. And the best part? It's all open source. If you head over to their GitHub page, the code and models are all there. They've got full instructions on how to run it locally. The main model is only about 5 gigs, with a LoRa of about 1.5 gigs, meaning this should run pretty comfortably on a graphics card with just 8 gigabytes of VRAM. That is awesome news for us regular folks. As of this recording, there's already a comfy UI integration in the works, which is fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Dream Omni 2. It's a seriously impressive step forward for open source AI. I've put all the links to the paper, the GitHub, and the demo in the description below, so you can check it out for yourself. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for more AI goodness. I'll see you in the next one.